all of you settle down. Hey. Sit comfortably. Hey. Gently close your eyes. Keep your head, neck straight in one straight line. Let us start the morning matrimonial session with three rounds of Omkaras. Inhale. संवत्सर उत्तरायण शिशिर ऋतु फल्गुन मस शुक्लपक्ष एकादशी तिथि पुनर्वसु नक्षत्र सौभाग्य योग भद्राकरण भार्गवासर टुडेज डेट थर्ड मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फ्राइडे तिथे श्रियमाती वारादायुष्यवर्धन नक्षत्रा धरते पापम 
arise from illusion. O conqueror of enemies, all living beings in the material realm are deluded by these. Honorable Professor Subramanam Ji and my dear friends, today's verse is Ichcha Dvesha Samutthena Dvanga Mohe Navarata Sarvabhutani Sammoham Sarge Yanti Parantapa Here there are two Bhaketi Bhaketi means Sambodhan Addressing Two Bhaketi words are here Bharata and Parantapa And knowingly Intentionally Bhagavan Sri Krishna Use these two Bhaketi words. Parantapa, he says. Arjuna is Parantapa. Parantapa has two meanings. Param, Param, Tapayati. He who gives pain to the enemies. Arjuna is like that. Parantapa also means he who removes the pain. Param means Satru. Param means enemy. Kama, Krodha, etc. are also the enemies of the human being. He also can remove these enemies from our own body. Therefore, he says, Hey Parantapa, you can, do, you can remove anything which is bad in your body, in your mind. So that is the Parantapa adjective. And Bharata, you know, Bharata Vansi. Bharata, he was a hero. He was a courageous boy, Bharata. And uh, Bharata was the son of Sakuntala. And he was a courageous, who was fighting with a lion. So you are that. You are that, Arjuna. So listen to me properly. And then he says, Icha dvesa samutthena dvandva mohena bharata. Dvandva moha, you know, dvandva is uh, uh, opposite, uh, opposite two things. Like, uh, Prabhutti and Nivrutti, Sukha, Dukha, Sita, Sita, Ushna, Sita, Ushna, Sukha, Dukha, Sukha, Dukha, etc. So these are two pairs of opposites. Two pairs of opposites. Here, Dvandva means Prabhutti and Nivrutti. Prabhutti and Nivrutti, these are, these are two pairs of opposites. When these are used properly without moha, Moha means delusion. Without delusion, if you imply it, then we will be benefited. But if it is a moha, dvandva moha, moha delusion of uh, pairs of opposites. When, you see, uh, now I, I involve myself in praying God, that is prabhutti. And I become away from this worldly activities, world then that is nivritti. So prabhutti, these prabhutti and nivrittis are helpful to us. They will give us benefit. But when prabhutti and nivritti are diluted, moha, then we will be in trouble. Now what happens? We people do not uh, uh, involve ourselves in God, in prayer. Chalo prayer hai to thoda ghum ke aate hai, thoda hone dije, har roz prayer mein jana koji jaruri hai ki aap vidyarthi baat karte rathe hai. हर रोज प्रे में जाना जरूरी है क्या चलो थोड़ा सा आप कैंटीन में कुछ खा लें दिस इज वेरी बेड तो वो क्या है कि प्रवृत्ति वन वी इन्वॉल्व आवर सेल्व 
in worldly things and then we get away from that worldly things. Only in worldly things we use prabhutti and nivritti, that is bad. That is bad. Therefore, that is moha, that is delusion. So, dvandva moha, dvandva moha is delusion of pairs of opposite is sprung from Icha dvesa. Icha is desire. Dvesa is aversion or hat. Now you see, uh, anything you do, suppose there is a rasugulla. Rasugulla, you know, sweet. So that is a rasugulla. I want to eat it. First I want, Ichati, Ichati, first Icha. Then I know, yeah, this is a rasugulla and it is very good. Then I will try to get it. Now, you see first, Rasagalla is very sweet and I first I want to eat, I want to eat it, then I try to get it. Itchati, then Pravartati. So this Itcha is the main reason to be involved in these worldly activities. So from Itcha only we have this uh, moha, delusion. If there is no itcha, I don't have any desire, I don't have any uh, desire for this worldly uh, uh, pleasure, then there will be no moha. Therefore, itcha is the reason, desire is the reason of these two dvandva, opposite pairs. And dvesa also, I had somebody, I like it, I don't like it. I had, I don't go there. That is again the reason for these two pairs of uh, opposites. So, Dvandva Moha is the main reason. Dvandva Moha is the main reason for our uh, destruction. Therefore, he says, Sarva Bhutan Sammoham Sarge Janti Parantaha. So, when we are born, from that period itself, we are deluded that I had somebody, I like a child, like to go to her, his mother. If somebody says, no, you come here, he will cry. From that period only, the Icha and Dvesa, both these come, this Moha comes. Therefore, this uh, uh, Samoham Yanti. Now, what is the context? Why this verse has been told? You know, in the fourteenth verse, it has been said that uh, why, pe how people will get rid of Maya. Then God says, Bhagavan says, Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Krishna says, if you come to me, then you will get rid of this Maya. Then uh, why all the people that do not go to Bhagavan? Why the people do not go to Bhagavan? Then he says, Sukruti and Diskruti, he desired. Here he says, because, and the previous verse, yesterday Guruji explained, people do not know me. When I don't know Rasagulla, I cannot be attracted towards it. People do not know me, therefore they don't come to me, therefore they are affected by moha in this world, a maya in this world. So, what we have to do is, you have to be, get, to get rid of, to get rid of all these uh, dvandvas, pravritti and nivritti, where we should involve ourselves, where we should not, that we have to understand, and accordingly, we have to uh, uh, act, then we will definitely get our own goal. Our own goal is to be with God to get the ultimate reality, to get very good result in your class. So for that, everything, you should be away from one one. Yes, I have to study and I have to get first class fast, then you will definitely get it. Don't be in one one. Thank you very much. We'll end the session with Shanti Mantra. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhi